Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Becoming a ROS Developer here at The Construct. My name is Rodrigo and today we have one of our students uh, who has finished his ROS2 basics course in Python. This ROS2 basics course provides you all the tools to get started with ROS2 and at the end we offer a project which you have to complete in a real robot environment. So that's what we'll see today from our student. Uh, hi, how are you? Hello everyone, I'm fine. Welcome, you, welcome. I'm really excited to see your project. So whenever you want, you can uh, start sharing your screen and we can take a look at how you've done the project. Okay. All right, I can see your screen, uh, the robots and the notebook in our ROS check. Great. Okay. First of all, I will press for, for you all my, my, my code being, my code working. Uh huh. And for, first of all, we need to, to lock the bridge to, to connect with the, the robot because my, the code, the first code is doing the, was done in, Right. And ROS2 and the, the real robot is in ROS1. Correct, yes. We'll need to okay. launch this, yes. So, so after this, uh, um, I launch, launch my simulation. Oh, you don't need to launch a simulation, remember, because okay. you're connected. Yeah, yeah, I, okay. No, 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 not the simulation, my, my, my your code. code. I see. Yeah, I see. yeah. sorry. Oh, I see you take advantage of the tab. Very nice. Yeah. Very helpful. That's yeah, so helpful. Uh, I will maximize my, the route. Basically he first will you find the wall. So the first thing is, is to know where is, is the wall. Uh huh. We so might have an issue with the bridge. So yeah, yeah, yeah. make sure I will allow to again. So do the bridge and then in the second terminal, before you yeah, launch yeah. your main launch, do a topic list. I think you forgot to press enter. Uh huh, it looks better. Okay. Before you do this, can we do a ROS2 topic list to make sure we have the topics? Yes. Great, great. Now we now we can be more sure. Okay. Ah, different message. <coughs> And then first of all, he, he found the wall, uh -huh. and then he he starts the, the movement, trying to to find the, the the wall. I will allow to again to to show you how to, how the the robot do for for found the the wall because he was too too near for, from the the wall, and the service we. we couldn't see the, the service you were Yeah, it, it ended right away, uh, but I'm assuming because it was already kind of facing the wall. Yeah, it does. Oh, it almost crashed, but then... So then this um, project, I see a 
a current distance uh, being out. Yeah, yeah. Here is a uh, current distance, and uh, I'm also have the, the distance from the side because I, I want to know also if the the, the route is 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 near from uh, my start point. Yeah. Only with the this, I will launch again. Oh, but it finished, right? It completed the lap, and uh, you that's that's it, right? Yeah, yeah, he completed the lap. And and when he completed, I, I sent you to the route to hang uh, level velocity zero and, and linear velocity zero to to stop the movement. Right, and then I think you killed the nodes too because yeah, we, yeah. you saw that. Uh, and right. I killed the nodes, yeah. Great. So Here, this is to show the, the service? Yeah, on the shoulder that server. He, uh -huh. he is reading the, the LiDAR information, uh, sleeping by for, for a while, and uh -huh. take another another LiDAR information, and he is trying to, to find the wall. So you make it twist a little, check the distance, and, if, and keep yeah, yeah. going until... Ah, there you go. He found the wall. I see the message. Yeah, he found the wall. The message, and he will. Then your action server comes in. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Really good. And it worked twice in a row, which is good. Uh, do you mind now uh, sharing a little bit of how you solved each, each part? Okay. So the service, the main node. And the action server. Are you seeing seeing my presentation or, or not? I can see the ROS checked. The cameras went away, but they'll come back in a little bit. But I can okay. see your ROS checked only. I will I will present present my my second screen. Okay. ROS two uh, now. It, yes, ROS two basics see. Python robot project. Great. Okay. Hello everyone. I'm uh, not present myself. My I'm Zimanes Kohe, and I did the Rust to Basic Python Rio route project. This is uh, the final part of the the Rust to Basic Python course. And here in this in this project, we had three three main goals. During the course, we I have learned so 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 much things, but the the three main topics in the 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 curse were mm -hmm. talking publisher and subscribe service and action. So with the this project key, <coughs> we aim to to press these three things. Mm -hmm. Each uh, it thinks it was divided in a, in a section. I will start for the second section because the the service is where where we would, is what what you made you do the the find wall. Mm -hmm. That is the the first first fixing the the movement. The final wall uh, was divided in four parts. The first one is search the nearest wall. So, so my robot will read the lidar information and and search the the nearest wall. I will show you how how I did it. Mm -hmm. Here, I have the the laser callback. Uh -huh. So I, I can let, can read the laser forward, the laser right, this two information, and I I, I measure the the minimum distance between between both, and then I start the information to to make my, my robot to rotate to to give the 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 command to to my robot, and then I, I time sleep to to not overlap the, the 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 callback and I, I do it again and again until the the robot face the wall. Right, right. And then okay, this is here. the service callback when it actually goes towards it. Yeah. And here we have the the logical method. I will explain uh, more 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 later. Right. But but here we have the the logical in this movement, if laser forward is is bigger than minimal distance plus 0 0.05, 0 0.05 is only a tolerance to to 
in the, the measure. Uh -huh. And it, so if the minimal distance is, is bigger than or equal 0 0.3, I will I will send this, this, this to my robot. You will rotate. Yeah, I will rotate clockwise in 0 0.2 radians per, per second. And if it laser forward it is smaller than minimal distance for positions and self and laser forward is, is bigger than 0 0.3 i will say to my robot to so, to move forward in 0 0.1 meter per second and and else my i will send zero to common linear to to linear velocity and and 0 0.2 in uh, the clockwise to angular velocity. Mm -hmm. And inside this, this else, I have this, this if to, to, to stop, stop my robot to, uh -huh. uh, yeah, when he, he found the, the probably distance. Okay. And, Great. and I said uh, this message, uh, he found a wall. So the second thing is, is, is approach the wall in the, the, the right distance uh -huh. because the one of the rules in, in our project is that the robot must be between 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 meters from the, the wall. And then I turn my, my robot clockwise to, to the wall, be always in the right range from to my robot. And then I, uh, I give to my, my robot a time sleep. It is too important because oh. it's important to to don't overlap the 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 the, the comments to my to my robot and so I, I give a a three second time slip to to my my robot to stop and start the the new behavior that is the, the follow the or follow the uh -huh. behavior and there is a here I have a Explanation that the robot needs to, to find the explanation. The robot needs to, to find the wall automatically by calling service. That is, when somebody ca calls the service, the server callback must execute the code to have the final wall behavior and make the robot find the closed wall and align with it. And here I have the image to to oh yeah great to 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 make it easier to to explain it. The first step is identifying the, the minimal laser that is in my, my code that I, I, I showed for you. The second step is rotate the, the robot. Then I approach the wall to, because the, my wall is already in front of my, my robot. And then I, I rotate again my, my robot to line up with the, the wall. And the from the wall behave behavior is into part of the first part is to, to press the top and publish it and subscribe. And you have this condition, the distance to the wall must be between 0 0.2 and 0 0.3. Mm -hmm. I need to subscribe to the latest topic to measure the, the distance and publish the to the velocity topic. And I will show you this part of the code. And mm. here I have the, the publisher and the subscriber. Right. And I'm publishing the in the common vel and subscribe to the, the latest topic. And important thing is important problem that I have to face is when the, the, the robot is already moved in the movement, but, but he's facing a, a wall to, to make a, and for, for this, this problem to collide with the wall. Right in front. Yeah. 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 And uh, I need to, to make a, a void, a collide avoidance uh, that uh, I, I did with this, the wall in front mm -hmm. of it was so sort of measuring this distance from the wall in the front of uh, and giving when the distance is less than 0 0.5 meters, a high clockwise rotational velocity to my robot. I will show you my my code in this part. 
here. It's my in the, the movement, and if my my self laser forward is uh, smaller than zero point five, the 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 angular velocity to my my rod t is one point zero radius per second. Per second is a, a very high right uh, angular velocity to 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 avoid this collision. And the follow the wall axis has three, three steps. This is the first one I recorded x, y, and, and theta to that is the, the position and the, the, the angular position for my, my rock to the server must start to record the coordinate x, y, and theta. Od odometry of the rock has a 0.32 on measure per second. That's okay. Here I, I had to face a important problem also because my 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 geometry masses only give me the the x and y right. and my my z position or or in quartenio. So uh, uh, convert, I I had right? to to yeah to con convert my my quartenio to the other angle, and we only use the this one that is the yan angle that is the, mm -hmm. the rotation in the z axis. So you have five the, more the minutes. Sorry. Okay. And I need to, to provide the feedback. That is the, the difference, the, the main difference between action and service. That's why I had to, to use the, the actions because I, I need to, to have the, the feedback from my, my, my robot. And, and he's also saying to me the amount of meters and also the the, the distance from the, the start and for finally he, he will return me the list of the odometry how you you could see in the in the code and the robot has done a complete lap has to finish and return the, the list of odometry and i will show you the code and that's all my my presentation. I thank you all for for your attention, for your patience, and for your your time. And that's it. I will. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, thank you for for showing us. Could you take? Could we take a, a little quick look at how you provided the list of uh, how you're getting that list of points in the action server? Okay. So in here, yeah. Ah, I see you're converting it right there, yeah, like yeah. you said. And then that's the Euler from Quaternion, great. Ah, oh, there you go. Then you do the math square root, and then you keep, I'm assuming you're appending it. Ah, there it is, self quartz append down there, yeah, 91. You keep adding it. Awesome. Great, Lucas. Thank you. Thank you so much. Congratulations for a really nice project. Do you mind uh, stopping sharing your screen so we can okay. uh, say bye and look at our faces here? Great. Awesome. Congratulations, uh, Lucas. A really nice presentation. It's really clear. And with a lot of times, it's a lot more confusing with the slides, but you made it a lot clearer with those. Um, I like that you. Uh, Differentiated each part very, very nicely, and um, it looks like a really effect, efficient code. So let me, I have only two questions to ask you, Lucas. Uh, the first one is, um, well, it's not a question, but you said in the, in the last part, in the actions part, you said, the reason why I want to use an action is to, so I can get feedback. Uh, then that is important. That is a, a sort of a, a, a plus for uh, comparing it to a service server, for example. But the other one that I want you to uh, be aware of, in case you're not, is that a service server blocks your, your system, right? Yeah. While an action does not. So I just want to make that point clear. Uh, so... Because you'd be able to do other things like continue the the 
the wall following yeah, program yeah. while you're calling that server. Um, yeah. And and then the the one question I had is I was I was um, curious of your addition of the three second sleep. You talked about so it doesn't get mixed up with the wall following. My question is: Did you run into programs and into problems? Sorry, when you didn't add a time sleep, or it's just like a sanity check for you to divide the nodes. Okay, but the the, the first thing is the the action are, are also asynchronous. That how you can you how you said, uh -huh. and this sort of is important too. And f about the the second question. I, I had a, a problem because the this, this simulation the the robot the 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 code runs well. Uh. And I, I go into the the real robot, it don't don't work. So I had to to do this time sleep to to make my right. My you had to do that. Work. Yes, there are differences once you jump into it. Uh, and yeah, so I was just curious. Um, so. I just want to remind you, I mean, to obviously this is like a simple project and uh, if, if adding a sleep for transferring from the simulation to the real robot works, that's great. But just to keep in mind that if you have too many timed hot sleeps and let's say you keep adding nodes, right? You add a camera node that does something with the camera. You do... Uh, other, you introduce uh, autonomous navigation to it uh, and you call it with an action. If you have a lot of these time dot sleeps uh, spread out throughout your nodes, you're going to have a little bit of synchronization issues. So I just want you to um, keep that in mind as you move forward with Ross uh, in order to, to have something that doesn't get blocked by those sleeps. But that's, that was my, my question, that's it. Uh, other than that, uh, Lucas, congratulations. It was, again, it was a really nice project. And my favorite part was the simplicity of it, that you go straight to the point, addressing every single um, task that we ask for, for this project. So congratulations. OK, thank you so much. And for everyone else that is watching, you can do the same as, as Lucas here to obtain a certificate once you finish our Ross Basics courses. Uh, you can do a project with a real robot and uh, present it here in order for to get that certificate. So I invite everyone to do what Lucas did here and uh, keep pushing your Ross learning. Thank you very much, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. All right.